What's up there guys, it's Mac, hope you guys are well. Are you guys seeing what's happening right there behind me, right? This is Nintendo's new, uh, they had like a mini uh, Nintendo Direct where it was literally aimed at kids or people that are young at heart. So this is their concept, it's a new concept. I do not understand what is going on here guys. It is a bit crazy. Essentially this is called Nintendo Labs. It's a new niche, very unique concept. Let's get into this. Stop that intro, guys. That's the world. So, as you can see, this is. Uh, the Nintendo Labo, I call it Labo, Labs, what, what would we call it? Um, it is priced at $69.99. Um, it comes out in the US um, on the 20th of April 2018 this year. And the UK and Europe will receive it in the 27th of April. Uh, this year 2018 and it comes out at 79.99 well, $69 that's about $70 so it's probably going to be about 60-ish 65-ish pounds over here in the UK um, so yeah what is it um, guys it's like their idea to um, their version of like possibly VR as well uh, it comes with two packages one of them is a variety kit which allows you to do all these weird things you could you can basically create uh, like a fishing rod a rope or a remote control the piano and um, the other kit is the robo kit which is um, it allow, which is the one that I'm actually pretty uh, more interested in to be honest because it's the one where you're actually fighting you get the two joy cards on your front glass maybe you have two on your hands of all you got a cardboard backpack and you're essentially um, breaking boxes and stuff like that um, I think it's just a great way for Nintendo to actually showcase the the maximum capabilities of these joy cons these are hd rumble built in here are the two packs that you got here, the variety and the robo kit uh nintendo labo i mean guys it's uh, a bit crazy um the you can basically get cardboard you can draw on it color it whatever you want it's i think it's a really good thing to pick up for kids i mean the only my caveat would be the fact that Essentially, a, um, a lot of switches have different types of cases they can put on there and it, to protect it, essentially screen protectors, you've got cases, rubber cases, all that type of jazz. Um, in this setup, you're essentially just taking the raw switch and the raw Joy-Con and sticking them into cardboard of boxes. Yeah, I'm, I don't know about that, guys. <laughs> I'm a bit worried that it's going to break, uh, you know, because, you know, it's very delicate. Look at that, just sticking it straight directly into the cardboard piano cutout. <clears throat> I mean, I would be a bit worried about that. But it's awesome the way it works. I mean, they're using the actual infrared to sense the actual place where you're hitting the keyboard so you know um, where to, when to hit the, the actual music tone. You're essentially getting a software as well, so you are buying a game. Uh, I'm sure the cardboard will be resold for like 20 bucks or something um, if you ever damage it or something like that. But it's not a new concept when it comes to like the cardboard design. Uh, I know Google released a cardboard um, VR headset where you put your phone into and you can and then basically it's a Google Cardboard uh, VR, essentially like a glass is made out of cardboard. Um, so you can buy that for cheap as well. I think it was like 20 odd quid or something like that. So very similar concept when it came to like the whole cardboard aspect of it, putting technology with cardboard, but they took it to a whole new level. I mean, look at this backpack and everything with the robotic, but you are using a TV, so it's not straight in your face. So you ain't gonna get the motion sickness that you receive from the traditional VR that's available at the moment on uh, other uh, platforms. But yeah, I mean, look, you can draw, you can color, you can make your own cardboard. I mean, it's definitely fun for kids. I would be worried that it will get damaged possibly. But at the same time, it's not really interesting to me, but a lot of kids out there will actually enjoy this. And there's another option. Nintendo Switch is giving you options for a lot of things other than just a gaming console. And it's a good thing that they didn't bring this out initially. Uh, they waited the entire year uh, for it to get hardly um, for the switch to get into the hands of true gamers as well as obviously casual gamers and now they're taking it to a new level uh, very very weird concept i still don't understand exactly how it works fully um like 
how does the joy cons and everything read what's happening on the software do you gotta load the software first do you gotta does it automatically read it when you put the game in and then you put the joy cons into the card but you know readers how does it work i i don't understand i don't understand guys if you guys understand this leave me a comment below let me know what your thoughts are i'm really interested to find out uh, but yeah, it's like um, old school cardboard cutout design. You're making stuff again like the olden days, but you're then converting it into the Switch's uh, screen and the Joy-Cons and you're interacting with it in such a way it becomes almost like a VR type of experience or you're actually using the screen on the devices to actually make it into some sort of like a very expensive cardboard cutout. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, cool concept guys. What do you guys think? Let me know. Um, quite expensive for the game itself essentially it's a tech demo because you're going to get mini games into it um, i'm sure the card will be cheap to replace but yeah there you go so it's going to be released in the uk from the 27th of april this year and in the us it's going to be released on the 20th of april this year hope you guys enjoyed that video don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already really appreciate all my subscribers thank you very much for that until next time take care guys this is mac peace out